You guys need to go down there and thumbs up this video if you guys have missed my lip swatch videos. Although my lips really enjoyed the break, I know a lot of you guys have been lip swatch video deprived. So let's go ahead and fulfill your craving. Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a really exciting review on a lip product that you guys have requested me to review for months. Today we are going to be talking about the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. If you guys follow YouTube videos regularly, I'm sure you guys have heard of the new fad with this Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick. Ofra basically came in and just swept the liquid lipstick market and so many YouTubers have claimed, made the very bold claim that this is their favorite liquid lipstick formula on the market. So today I'm going to be doing my classic review video style. I will be talking about the product, the price, the packaging. I will be doing individual lip swatches of all 13 shades that I have. And of course, I will be giving you guys the pros, the cons, and then letting you guys know if they are worth the hype. So this is what the packaging of the actual product looks like. It comes in a pretty typical tube. It does say Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and then it does say the actual name of the lipstick here in bold and then it has Ofra written around the tube with a matte black top. I will say that the packaging is cheap. There is absolutely no other way to say that. The packaging is probably some of the cheapest liquid lipstick packaging I've ever seen in my life. All of this writing here is actually just put onto a sticker. So underneath you can see it's a completely clear tube, which is nice. You can see the actual product through it. But I just wanted to say even this top part like pulls off and it's like glued and it's just it's a cheap packaging. Definitely not the end of the world by any means whatsoever, but the fact that these are almost $20 a piece, for $20, I expect some kick-ass packaging. When you actually open the tube, this is what the applicator looks like, a pretty standard doe foot applicator. Now, where these liquid lipsticks have been getting their most buzz and their most hype and their most praise is on the formula. The formula on these is thick, whipped and moussey. For a liquid lipstick, they are very comfortable on the lips. These are probably some of the least drying liquid lipsticks I've ever used. When I'm comparing them to other products that I've used, you guys know I have tried a lot of liquid lipsticks, if not most of the really popular ones on the market. I have never had a problem with these cracking or flaking off of my lips. These never get to that completely smudge proof, budge proof stage like the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks or the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Those almost dry like concrete on your lips and you can touch your lips, you can press them, you can smudge them and lip product is not going to go anywhere. With these, if you say drink a glass of water or you touch the back of your hand or something, they will transfer a little bit. And I will also say that these do remain a little bit tacky on the lips for the entire time you wear them. Now with that being said, the texture and the pigmentation varies color to color, which was kind of surprising. When I swatched all 13 of the colors I have on my lips, there were some of them that were absolutely gorgeous. They swatched fully pigmented, fully opaque, dried down really nicely, and just looked super matte. But then there were some that needed to be built up a little bit, particularly the brighter shades, definitely went across as a little bit streaky, with two coats, you could get all of them to be fully opaque. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk more about the texture and the longevity and the scent of these products after I show you guys lip swatches of all 13 that I have in my collection. So let's jump into it. This first shade I have on my lips is called Laguna Beach. And this one really reminds me of MAC Soar Lip Pencil. It is a medium, 
pinkish nude color and it looks so good. Pasadena is a true brown based nude color. Now this one didn't seem to be quite as pigmented as a lot of the other ones. I actually built this one up with two layers and I don't know if that's because the formula is slightly thinner and not quite as thick and moussey or if it's because it's so similar to my natural skin tone that it's hard to make it actually pop. It is a nice nudie color though, if you are my skin tone. Americano is a unique one. It's another nude color, but this one is a slightly darker orange based nude and this one has some metallic shimmer in it that's something i wasn't expecting to see in a nude color like this and to be honest i'm not crazy about the metallic shimmer it's kind of like a barely there shimmer that looks a little strange on the lips this shade is the one that we've all probably heard of and we're all very very familiar with this is Miami Fever by Kathleen Lights. This is supposed to be that perfect mix of brown and orange. I will say that while I do love the color and I do think it's very, very unique, I personally don't love the color on my skin tone as much as I've seen it on other skin tones. It looks so gorgeous on Kathleen and I've seen it on so many other skin tones. She posts pictures on her Instagram page of some of her followers wearing it. I'm not crazy about it on me, but I've seen it look beautiful on others. Saint Tropez is a medium light cool toned lavender pink color. This is a color that definitely looks gorgeous on light to medium skin tones. And while I can still pull it off, I will say this was another one where the formula wasn't fantastically pigmented. I actually built it up with two layers on my lips and I still feel like it's a little bit streaky. Santa Monica is probably the brightest one that I picked up in the collection. It's definitely the most neon color. Even the camera is kind of wigging out and trying to pick up this color. It is an intensely neon, hot fluorescent pink with a little bit of a coral undertone to it. And I will say this one, while it is fairly pigmented and it's definitely not streaky, it does go on a little sheer. So I did build it up with two layers to get this opacity. Surfer's Paradise is a pretty bright, vivid, tangerine orange color. This one has that metallic shimmer in it. It's kind of like a golden shimmer that's throughout it. And I didn't realize that it had that shimmer when I first looked at this color and to be honest i'm not crazy about it on the lips venice is another one that isn't the most pigmented and it's not the most thick and moussey in terms of texture it is a really beautiful cream finish orange based red gorgeous on the lips atlantic city is absolutely gorgeous this one is a beautifully pigmented beautiful in texture it's kind of like a slightly pink based red color gorgeous on all skin tones. I highly recommend this one. Santa Ana is absolutely wonderful. This one has the best texture. It's thick and moussey and creamy and dries down beautifully and lasts beautifully. This color is also gorgeous. It's kind of like a slightly muted mid-tone pinky mauve color, perfect for the fall and winter time. Honolulu is another very interesting color. It's a dark coppery brown with metallic shimmer in it. So it's unique to say the least. Um, I don't know if I love it, but I like it. Mina is a gorgeous dark grape berry type color. This one does not have any shimmer in it, which is really appreciated because I do prefer them to be a completely cream finish. And this one also has a wonderful texture. It's super pigmented, rich, opaque, lasts a long time. And lastly, we have New Orleans, which is a dark but still vibrant violety grape purple type color. This one also had a slight slightly sheerer formula, kind of reminiscent of Santa Monica. You did have to slightly build it up to get 
full opacity. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it. Now the lasting power on these liquid lipsticks is fairly good, but they definitely don't last as long as some of the traditional long wearing liquid lipsticks. And when I say the traditional ones, I'm mainly thinking of like the Kat Von D and the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. I can literally get those to last a full eight or nine hour day, even through eating and drinking. <sighs> Wouldn't be a video of mine unless something flew across the room. Now, while I haven't had any issue with these lasting throughout a full meal, I have noticed that it does wear away on the inner part of your lips quite a bit, but you still will be left with significant color on most of your lips. I can get a good six, maybe even eight hours of wear out of these, but like I said, they will wear away on the inner portion of your lips. So I generally find myself reapplying and I haven't had any issues with reapplying these liquid lipsticks, even over a layer that's already been on your lips. That can be an issue with a lot of these super long wearing liquid lipsticks because they tend to flake and bunch off because they dry so matte. And because these don't completely dry, you can reapply them very effortlessly. Another thing I think is important to note is that even though you can see through the actual tube to the product that's inside, the product does not always look the same on your lips as it does in the tube. A lot of these definitely transform a little bit once you get them on your lips. They may go a little bit darker or the color may be altered a little bit and some of them have some hidden shimmer in them, so keep that in mind. The scent on these is pretty nice. It's like a slightly vanilla scent with a little bit of something else thrown in. Not as delicious as the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, but not a bad scent by any means. The closest liquid lipsticks I can think of that reminds me of the formula of these would probably be the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. I feel like these are almost a cross between the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These kind of have that thicker, moussey texture like the Soft soft matte lip creams, but they have the final dry down and longevity of the liquid suede lipsticks. Definitely keep in mind that the NYX products are much more inexpensive than these. I do feel like the price of these is kind of outrageous, mainly given the fact that the packaging is so doggone cheap. In my head, if I was gonna pay $20 for a liquid lipstick, I want everything about the packaging and the formula to be great and to fully compete with the other $20 liquid lipstick formulas like the Anastasia, the Kat Von D, the Stila Stay All Day. I will say that Ofra does offer coupon codes. I personally do not have one, but I will go ahead and put a couple of coupon codes that I've seen other YouTubers have. I believe Kathleen Lights has a 40% off coupon code, and I know a couple of Instagrammers have a 30% off coupon code, so I will go ahead and just put those in the description box below for you. Obviously, Obviously, if you can use a 40% off coupon code on these, you bring the price way down. You bring the price down to about $12 instead of almost 20. I would say my all time favorite shades from this entire line based on texture would be Laguna Beach. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous nude color. I also really love Santa Ana. That one's probably my all time favorite. And the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever definitely has one of the best formulas. And then my favorites in terms of color would once again be Santa Ana. I love the formula on this. I love the color on this. Everything about this liquid lipstick is absolutely perfect. I also love Santa Monica. While I did need to apply two layers to get it opaque, the color is so bright and vibrant and bubbly and happy and I love it. And then I also really, really love Atlantic City. This is a gorgeous pinky toned red, super opaque, and it looks so beautiful. Overall, do I think these liquid lipsticks are worth the hype? Yes, I do think they are worth the hype. I do think they are very, very good. Do they beat my favorite liquid lipstick formulas, which we all know are the Kat Von D and the Stila formulas? 
No, I don't think these beat them because they don't fully dry down. They still remain a little smudgy, but they are so comfortable on the lips. I definitely think if you guys have been curious about this formula, you should absolutely try it out. Definitely keep in mind that they are kind of inconsistent color to color. So hopefully my individual review on each color was helpful to you to help make your decisions. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have already tried out the Ofra liquid lipsticks or if you guys are interested in trying them. Let me know which colors you're interested in. Thank you guys so, so much for your love and support and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I will see you then. Bye! You get really decent portions of all three of the popular Luminize. It's hard for me to achieve a full look using just this palette because